guard post. Watch yourself. one day. Miller is being held somewhere in that town, but we don't know exactly where he is. You can keep gathering intel or make an entry into the town now. Hmm. That's marking. Focus on a thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. start gathering them. Took you so long. We'll talk, but not here. Ex 
Extraction <laughs> arrived at Metabase. You've secured the target. I'll send the chopper to get you out. Make your way to the RV. You can check the location on your iDroid. Mission info has been updated. You look well. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Not so heavy anymore, right? That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. Your magic words, boss. I've been waiting nine years to hear them. Kept you waiting, huh? Come on. Say for all time's sake. Kept you waiting, huh? It's really you, Snake. All these years without you. I knew this day would come. Boss, watch out. It's the Skulls. Don't let them find us. Extraction Boss, arrived. Whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting.
going on. No thanks, job. That's the unit that attacked us before. They came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. Yeah. Men, yeah. survivors yeah. from nine years ago were wiped out All in right. minutes. Mission Miller in. Oh, it's it's no one. mistake. It's an obstruction at the LZ preventing me from landing. Request immediate removal. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. for the Seychelles. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. Yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around, out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. The phantom of our former selves. Triumph. Death. Just like a damn fiddle! Help me, Snake. Chico. It all ends soon, exactly as I've planned. No! Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Lost. The 
comrades I've lost won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A group above nations, even the U.S. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power. Tell me like you used to. have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. We're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. There's something I want to talk about. You came. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dogs the force it deserves to be. Like any organization, we need good people, and we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. To start bringing people in, use this. 
It's a Fulton recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, don't you? Let's do this, Papa! Out like a light. Now approaching an extraction. Good. Extraction complete. arrived at my You can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting it. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. Select staff. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please specify That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called cardboard box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. Boss, you can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done, boss. Try throwing any punches. It's the best way to throw someone out. Base. That's enough. One thing I should mention. A Fulton extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfair, this isn't the time. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, they could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next staff member. Extract him. by knocking him out, or you can put him to sleep. I'm ready, boss. We should be able to develop a cardboard box. Open your eye drawer. Extraction arrived at Mother Select base. weapons items under the Please development. Now select project. cardboard box and start development. Just be aware that development requires funds. GMP. Watch we don't. Development has finished. Please select You can have the support requested. unit supply you with weapons and items you've developed. Think of it as your own personal delivery service. sure what it's good for, but Miller said you know what to do. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R&D team, and that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys Please off select a landing zone. Arriving shortly at LZ.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Mission is updated. Boss, I know you haven't been back long, but I've prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. Please select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British Military Hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. He said I was in a British Military Hospital. Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember Miller. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but... I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. I've gone easy on you up until now. But this is where the hard stuff begins. <sighs> 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in Colombia, operating with a small unit of men, basically mercenaries. Miller was among them. Miller was trying to find a way to turn his and your talents into a line of work. He was looking to start a business where you would fight on behalf of others around the world, those who needed military force. But the reality was, at that time, you didn't have enough gear to equip your own men. Then Miller came across this client, it was a huge job he was offering, but you had a shot at pulling it off. You accepted it and headed into Costa Rica. The client even threw in an offshore facility in the Caribbean. The mother base. That would be your new base of operations. Miller sure did have a head for business. As your mission went on, your unit grew and grew. More weapons, more money. Before you knew it, you were commanding 300 men. As the organization got bigger, your military power swelled to match. It got so the international community couldn't afford to ignore you. You were just too damn successful for your own good. You, your men, had worn out your welcome. Everyone was out for you. East, West, First World, Third. It was only a matter of time before someone took you down. And that was XOF. Officially, they're an anti-terror unit under the CIA. In reality, they're Cypher's private strike force. They lured you to Cuba using Chico, the Nicaraguan revolutionary kid, and Paz, a mole who worked for Cypher as bait. While you were gone, XOF, posing as a nuclear inspection team, stormed Mother Base. At the same time, C4 they placed on the strut legs went off. 
the whole thing went down in minutes. XOF. Kisses and hugs followed by a big F U. All because of Miller's blind spot. A back door into Mother Base no one suspected. You remember a certain scientist? Huey was responsible for bringing the inspection team on board. Giving the enemy a perfect opportunity to hit you at home. You were returning from Cuba when it happened. Mother Base came damn close to taking you with it into the Caribbean. Those of your men out on assignment returned right away. They refused to believe the wreckage in the water they found was Mother Base. But they checked the coordinates again and again until reality finally settled in. You were supposed to die that day. That was XOF's primary objective. As far as most folks know, you did. The first doctor to see you wasn't even sure what he was looking at. Before they'd even finished operating, your men moved you to that hospital in Cyprus. It was a woman named Eva who arranged that. Rings a bell, hmm? Most men in your condition would have been written off right from the start. But you survived. You went straight down to hell, and they pulled you out. Your eye wide open. Full of venom. The days of Naked Snake are long gone. Welcome back, Venom Snake. This world still needs you. Your Snake, try this on. A prosthetic arm. Yeah, Miller was calling it the arm that wasn't there. The physiotherapy's going well. Your arm's bulked up enough for it to fit. There. Perfect. A little time with it, and it'll work better than the real thing. What do you think? Huh. I can still feel my real arm. Well, you better get used to this one quick. You have any pain? Every now and then. Where? My fingertips. My left fingertips. Uh, sounds like phantom pain. Your brain still remembers your old hand. Yeah. What about your vision? Can you see okay? Yeah, at the moment. Now, the shrapnel in your skull is pressing on your optic nerve. I'm told any hard impact could have an effect on your visual cortex. Yeah, the doctor mentioned that. Your brain might process visual information incorrectly. In other words, you could have hallucinations. You might see things that aren't there, or not see things as they really are. You experience any of that? I think so. When? Right after I wake up. Colors look faded. Colors, huh? Well, that's not a major concern in and of itself, but it could mean the difference between life and death in the field. You'll need to watch out for that. I will. All right. You should continue your physio. We'll be arriving soon. It's the last chance you'll get. Snake, I wanted to ask you about the man on fire. What do you remember from the hospital? Anything we can use? Well... He took off the moment the sprinklers started up. Sprinklers? The fire system? And when he got sprayed with water from the burst pipe, it slowed him down. When we escaped on horseback, he wouldn't cross the river either. And then it started to rain. And he disappeared. Water against fire. Is it that simple? I mean, it makes sense. It's just hard to believe it would work on a guy like that. 